Well, first of all, is our new spring. You can see compared to the old one, it's obviously a lot cleaner and shinier, but also the coils are slightly thicker and that's where it gets its extra spring rate. Of course, I will need this rubber a bit off the top. So it's nice and easy to change over and make sure it's in the right place. That's ready to go on the car, but before I do that, I'm going to put on the shock absorber. And you can see the new shock absorber compared to the old one, it's just like a lot more conventional. So it's just a pretty much standard shock absorber, except it is uprated for our sporty suspension. So this will be going on now. Putting it all back together is not difficult, but it is a long job. For the price of two struts, you can get four, so it is smarter to change all of them. A main dealer will want a good few quid for doing this, so it's worth getting your hands dirty. Back done, now for the front. OK, well here is the front shock absorber, and you can see it looks pretty conventional, and that's because it is. All the magical stuff on the self-levelling goes on at the back of the car. But you can see here, sort of lots of corrosion. It actually looks like it's weeping as well, which means it has to go. But as it turns out, I've got a full set of new shock absorbers anyway, so either way, this is being changed. Now, of course, at some point, I'll have to take the top off, which means I have to open the bonnet as well. Well, that's quite clearly the old one there, and of course, this is our lovely new yellow one, but I'm gonna have to replace a couple of the bits from this side to that side, so let's have a look. First of all, got this little plastic clip here that holds on some cables that go towards the caliper. Let's just work its way out. And pops back in place there. And then this bump stop. And the gator. A little bit nasty, but it'll be fine. And now this is ready to go back on the car. Doing the front is much easier and faster without the hydraulics to worry about. All done. The new shocks would really help handling and ride comfort of our Thunder Saloon. Now this job has turned out to be a right result. Not only was it a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, but also we've got brand new uprated suspension all round the car for a fraction of the cost it might have been. The horrible, horrible squeak has gone at the back and the suspension ride height is at exactly the point it needs to be at. And that makes me very happy.